this is the question. How can we use failure to achieve success? Uh, how do we get out of a failure rut? I think failure mainly is a failure in our ability to see what actually happened. <laughs> if we don't see what actually happened, then we call it failure. We need to learn how to let go of this failure word. You know, all there is in life is learning. Everything is learning. You know, I used to be uh, a surfboard surfer once upon a time. I distinguish it as surfboards so that people don't think it was just like lying around on those little spongy things. And, you know, when you ride a surfboard, there's no way you're going to paddle out on that board into the, into the waves that are going everywhere and then just turn around, paddle into a wave, stand up the first time and ride it in like an expert. You're definitely not going to do that. But if you, and when you, slip off the board the first time, you don't say, oh, that was a failure. How can I learn from my failures? You know, if you have a mentality like that, it's a defeatist mentality. If I'm your surfing instructor, I'm going to say, that's great. Did you see where you stood on the board? You stood a little bit too far back. Now the next time when you stand up, you're going to stand a little bit more centered on the board. Let's go back out and do it again. And we're going to make fun out of it. Paddle back out, turn around, catch the next wave, fall off again. Oh, um, you were standing up a little bit before the wave had got to its uh, less critical position. And uh, now, did you see what happened then? Yes. Third wave, fourth wave, 100th wave, 1,000th wave, 10,000th wave. <laughs> now you're riding like a champion. Now you're riding like a pro. And your surfing instructor, that would be me, sitting on the beach watching with binoculars, is saying, that's my student. How did you get to be that way? You fell off the board a lot. <laughs> and falling off the board a lot, you know, you learn to have fun with it, actually. It's a learning curve. Let's get this word failure out of our, out of our language. You know, a failure this, failure that, and all that. It's just, you're on a learning curve, that's all. You don't, don't talk about everything like failure. <laughs> we need to get out of this failure mentality and get into the learning mentality. And we need to have a sense of humor. You see, the thing is, when you watch a favorite situation comedy on television, what you're seeing is somebody having experiences they'd prefer not to have, but it's funny to you because you're watching from a distance and it's not affecting you. So you see somebody, you know, going to, you know, fry an egg or something like that, and then they get distracted and they go over there and the egg is burning away in the background and they're over there having a conversation and they don't realize it and the smoke is filling the entire apartment and then the alarms go off and the person comes running in looking all panicked and all of that and you're sitting on your living room chair laughing. How are you able to laugh at such a thing? It's because you have a distance from it. When we practice Vedic meditation every day, we start to get that distance that gives us the ability to interpret things that we'd prefer not to happen in a more kind of a TV sitcom style. You know, you, uh, you establish yourself more and more in that deep inner state of being, and you're more an innocent witness of all of the things that are going on in life. Of course, you have fewer and fewer mistakes like that, but when they do come, your ability to be non-attached, your ability to look at it and smile and laugh about it, um, is just phenomenal because, and you learn from it. You see it as a learning curve. I remember once one of the Ayurvedic doctors, this is the Vedic system of healthcare, uh, said to me one day, do you know how to tell when a saucepan full of milk is about to boil? And I said, no, how do you tell that? He said, whenever you feel comfortable to go and do something else, Whatever you feel comfortable to walk away from the stove, that's when it's about to boil over. So you watch for that feeling of comfort. I feel comfortable to just go over there and open that drawer. That's when the milk's about to boil over. <laughs> 
And so that kind of sense of humor, that ability to actually look at the situations from with a little bit of non-attached distance gives you the ability to see these moments as being actually quite hilarious. So having a sense of humor is also very important. Um, I was driving with a friend of mine, Gary, in Australia, and his brother had lent us one of his cars. And we got off, way off into the bush somewhere, and then a flat tire came. And so we got out of the car, and it was just the sun had set already, and it was getting dark. And we thought, well, it's okay. We'll, two of us here, we'll jack up the car and put on the spare tire. But when we opened up the trunk, the spare tire was flat as well. <laughs> So we had two spare tires and both of us being very experienced Vedic meditation people, instead of, you know, going, oh, no, oh, no, like that, we just laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. We finished laughing and then I said, you know, there's no car going to come along here for any period of time. Maybe we should meditate. So we both got into the car and we didn't have coats or anything and it was the middle of winter and we were in the mountains. It started to get colder and colder and we had no cell phone reception and we were meditating and we had beautiful, nice, quiet meditation at the end of which it was really rather cold. And uh, I looked over at him and I said, there's one way to warm ourselves up. We can start the 20 mile walk now. It was 20 miles to the nearest town. <laughs> and just as we got out of the car and started to walk and we were still both laughing we were still laughing, and it was remarkable in the situation we were in. We saw some headlights coming, and my friend got out, and he said, I'm going to stand in the middle of the road to be sure this person doesn't go by. <laughs> and stood in the middle of the road, waved. It was a big truck, and the truck pulled over, and on the side of the truck it read, Mix Tire Service. It happened to be someone who was traveling from one village to the next, who ran the local tire service. And he came out and he says, hello, hello, hello. Looks as though you have two flat tires. Let's fix that up right away. I have my compressor machine here. And you know, we'll, um, if you follow me to the nearest town, we'll get that other tire repaired. And you know, my name's Mick. <laughs> so, from a difficult situation to a situation where you can dine out on it. You know, the thing is, all of your experiences where you think some failure has happened or whatever like that, the fact is, uh, be sure you accumulate all the stories because if you maintain a sense of humor, it will serve you very well in your life and you'll be able to dine out on these stories. These are the kinds of stories that make a life interesting, you know. Bad choices in the, of the past make for an interesting life story. 